terrible way to end a wonderful trip. And unsettling homecoming. It's a disaster down there. Like, I'm, I'm not checking bags again. Jennifer and Adam just got back from a wedding trip in Texas. Baggage claim was the last stop before returning home to Issaquah. That's when they realized two of their bags were missing. Makeup, clothes, and souvenirs inside, valued at five or six grand. You feel violated. Yeah. They say this screenshot was pulled while watching security footage with Port Police, showing a man walking off with their bags, which had been pulled from the carousel before they arrived. Thieves are looking to try and find ways to beat the system. SeaTac spokesperson Perry Cooper says of the roughly 30 million bags that pass through the airport each year, about 400 are reported stolen. Statistically, it's very rare, but if it's your bag, you don't care what the statistics say. Apparently, it's perfectly acceptable to the authorities, and for them, it's just the cost of doing business. Those numbers, by the way, still work out to about one theft per day. And we hope we can get to zero, but unfortunately, zero is a hard number to get to. Cooper said the airport takes this seriously and uses undercover and uniformed officers to keep an eye out along with security cameras. But he also urges travelers to do their part. But we do have family coming in this weekend, and we've already made it a point to tell them to not check their bag and to carry it on. A few other tips from the airport. They say unique looking luggage could go a long way, potentially a deterrent to thieves. Wouldn't want to be seen with such unique looking bags. Another thing, race down to the carousel. Get there as fast as you can. I think that goes without saying. Another thing, if you can, try to put some sort of tracker inside your luggage that could help if you do wind up losing it or if it winds up being stolen. As for Jennifer and Adam, they're simply hoping for changes, perhaps a little bit better security protocol here in baggage claim. Live at the airport, Jim Nelson, King 5 News.